tell us a little bit about natural procreative technology? Something a lot of people hear natural and they think, oh, it's not medical then, it's some kind of alternate option. Can you tell us how natural procreative technology works together with a woman's fertility cycle and medical interventions to help? Absolutely. So NAPR technology is an amazing method of addressing every GYN issue without the use of contraceptives, without the use of IVF. But rather than using those things to act as a band-aid on top of your GYN issues, we instead look for the root causes and then we address those issues, which is so much more effective. And we have people learn to chart their cycles, to identify ovulation, and then using that point of ovulation, we know when to draw tests, when to have you do ultrasounds, all of those things in order to be able to get to the correct diagnosis and then address those issues naturally. Well, that's fascinating. Can you tell us a little bit about certain issues? I thought I'd love to go into some issues that are very common that many teen girls and young women are experiencing that, that precede them getting on the birth control pill or some other device. Um, so can you tell us how NAPRO technology in your work helps people with irregular periods? Absolutely. So, you know, when women are coming into my office, they are coming in with all of the typical GYN complaints. So when people have irregular cycles, I always stop and we say, okay, first, let's figure out what exactly is your bleeding pattern when you have bleeding. You know, is it spotting? Is it light? Is it heavy? Is it moderate? What are you experiencing? Because every little bit of that information tells us something. If somebody is having spotting before their period, it means something. If somebody's having spotting at the end of their period, it means something. If you're having crazy heavy bleeding, it means something. And so we want all of that information. Then you want to check polycystic ovarian syndrome labs or, pol or a, like a big amount of labs that actually query all of these different issues. So you want to look for thyroid issues, for PCOS, for abnormalities with your prolactin level, and all of that can happen on day three of the cycle. Following that, we would have somebody chart their cycles to identify where they're ovulating. So do they have any mucus that shows up when they wipe themselves? And then that would tell us where to start looking for estrogen and progesterone after that ovulation so that we can determine if they are having normal hormones or if they're low or if they're high.